and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Alright my friends, so in this video I'm going to show you some secrets and easter eggs that you can find all the way throughout this game. There are many, 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 many secrets that you thought wouldn't even exist, but I'm going to show a bunch of them off, and there are many more that I couldn't just cover in this one video, but I'm going to show you guys some, and maybe you've seen some of them and maybe you haven't. So let's go! Alright, so if you guys didn't know, there are some fairies that are more powerful than the average fairy. Now, Navi goes green when she thinks that something mysterious is nearby. And in this case, near Death Mountain there's this pole, and if you play the Sun Song, you get what's called a Big Fairy. Now, these Big Fairies actually regenerate your entire magic meter and your entire health. You see that? That's pretty darn cool. And a Deku Stick, if you make contact with a butterfly, that also turns them into a normal fairy as well. So fairies are scattered all the way throughout this game, you're never really short on life to tell you the truth. And if you're in Kakariko Village Graveyard, go down into the Royal Family's Tomb. Because down here, if you just so happen to be low on health, go on over to these bones where Navi goes green once again, and just play the Sun Song over here as well. And you'll notice that you get a big fairy from this as well. And it does exactly the same thing, fully recharges you. It's pretty cool. And these are scattered everywhere throughout the entire game. So keep your eyes open. Now in Jabu Jabu's belly, you meet Ruto. And Ruto can be used as a weapon. So she can kill jellyfish like that. And you can also throw her as well. So let's do that. She destroys bubbles saves your life, and she can also be used to activate switches as well. So take advantage of Ruto. She can save your life on many, many accounts. Bye bye, enemy. <laughs> right. So, shortly after we meet Ganondorf officially for the first time, just outside of the castle, we want to go into the Hyrule Market. Because a lot of people can actually miss this. Because it is a little bit discreet and secret. So if we just go into the Hyrule Market, we'll need to go down one of the back alleys. And you can actually miss this. A lot of people just stick with the main plot and they go to the Temple of Time. But if we come down this back alley here, you'll notice that there just so happens to be a guard sitting around here. And that's a little bit conspicuous at first. You think, what, you napping on the job or something? Nope, he was attacked. He's only just sort of made it, but he lets you know that he's got something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you, she wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, Hurry to the Temple of Time. And then just like that, he dies right in front of you. It's a little bit morbid for this game. And if you try and interact with him again, Navi just says he's not moving anymore. So yeah, a little bit scary. And some people think that the Poe Collector happens to be one of the guards as well. There's actually some pictures in the window over here. These are some little Easter eggs. That's actually a picture of Mario and Princess Peach. And if we come over here, there's also a picture of Luigi, uh, Bowser, and I think there might actually be a picture of Yoshi in there as well. Uh, I think that's a picture of Yoshi there as well, yes. So that's, that is actually really cool, I do like that. Um, try and break the window, you get some rupees for it. I think that's Nintendo's way of showing appreciation for acknowledging their easter eggs. Okay, so if we go to Lon Lon Ranch, speak to Talon, or if you don't, it's okay. Just go ahead and look at him, he's wearing a necklace. And do you notice something? It kind of resembles Bowser, doesn't it? And Malon's also wearing one as well. It's kind of interesting. Now, in the Hyrule field, you can use Deku Nuts on these skeletons. You can stun them just like any other enemy. So the Deku Nuts actually have a lot of good uses. So that is one thing you can use them for. Another thing is it destroys bubbles extremely quickly in Jabu Jabu's belly, so take advantage of that factor as well. And it also pisses off chickens as well. So, that's another thing, but in this case you might not want to do that because Cuckoos have a tendency to get very agitated when attacked, so just 
do yourself a favour and escape for your life. Yeah, just just run. <laughs> now, the ghost comes down here into this little arena room, whatever. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can shield, and then eventually they'll come back, and you can hit them. What I like to do is throw a Deku nut on the floor. It brings them back immediately, and just saves you having to wait for them to attack you so that you can attack them. Defeat Dart Link in one hit. Now... As you know, Dart Link is a mini-boss that appears halfway through this dungeon that we know and love and sometimes hate, the Water Temple. Now what's really important to know about this guy is, he is the reflection of Link, so he's going to share attacks and skills, but something else that people tend not to know is that he shares the same health as you. So I have three hearts here, where I'm doing a free heart run of this game, and that means that Dart Link is going to have three hearts of health as well. Now there are many ways you can fight Dart Link. You can use Din's Fire, the Megaton Hammer, etc, etc. But I recommend that you use the Begoron Sword for this fight, purely and simply because it is stronger than the Master Sword. The Begoron Sword does 4 hearts of damage when a jump attack is achieved. So watch this. I'm going to use the Deku Nuts to stun him. And I'm going to stun him again so that freezes him. And there you go. Game over. Simply put, simply achieved. A very easy way to break this mini boss, and a really funny way to kill him. So there are many secret holes hidden all the way throughout this game. One of them is in Kakariko Village, and if you go down them, there happens to be many different items that you can collect. There's sculptures, there's rupees, a lot of the time there's 200 rupees, so you can go ahead and fill your wallet as effectively and as quickly as you can. There's sometimes merchants that sell you things, there's sometimes heart pieces. So it's always worth going down and seeing what you can find. And over here, if you play the Song of Storms, this is near Hyrule Castle. This also opens up a hole in the ground. And the Song of Storms can be used in many other places as well. In the Gerudo area, for example, behind the tent, you can also do the same thing here as well. Another hole in the ground. All of these holes are hidden throughout the entire game, and some of them are hidden under boulders as well. So just check your grounds. You never know what you might find. There happens to be one near Death Mountain as well. Right before you go into the Goron area. Notice the little circle of rocks here. Song of Storms will do that for you. There you go, another hole in the ground. What's this, another circle of rocks? Hmm, Song of Storms. And that just does it. Many secrets again. Now this game happens to be very generous with rupees as well, and sometimes you go past this. If you go up the top of this chain, um, some people don't actually think you can climb this chain, but you can. Now just go ahead and wait here until it turns night time. And there's a reason for that. When this bridge comes up, you're going to get yourself 60 rupees for the sake of just waiting here for a mere minute. Not even that in this case. And what you want to do is you want to go across the top of the bridge like this. There you go, 20, 20, and another 20, just like that. <laughs> and these secret rupees, they're hidden throughout the entire game. So just keep your eyes peeled. I mean, they are invisible, but they are out there. Now, a lot of times you go past these gossip stones. If you wear the Mask of Truth and you speak to them, you can actually interact with them and they give you uh, little hints and secrets. So in this case, they say if you get close to a butterfly while holding a Deku stick in your hands, something good will happen, as I previously showed off. Uh, by doing that, you get a fairy. You can also hit the Gossip Stone, and it'll tell you what the time is. And if you really want to be, you know, I don't know, explosive or destructive, just go ahead and leave a bomb there as well. <laughs> because what will happen is it'll start counting down like this and then it'll take off like a rocket and you can get fairies from these as well so for example near the Temple of Time there happens to be four of them play Zelda's lullaby and you will get fairies from every single one it's good if you want to restock on your fairies and there you have it 
So in this video I just wanted to show off many of the secrets that you can find throughout this game. There are many more that I know but I couldn't cover them all in this one video. If you guys want to see more secrets please hit the subscribe button and maybe I'll make another video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you'll stick around for more. Alright guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.